Hello YouTubers and welcome to Holt Whistle 00 and this morning I wake up to this a package from Hattons so let's see what's inside as you I've already tried opening this so I've got to get underneath it and open it up there we go. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we are. Don't know what that is. Okie dokie. Alright. Now, I ordered three things. Before I show you that, this is the best seller's brochure for um, double O gauge and N scale. Yeah. And it just goes through all the different things. And, uh, yeah. So we can put that to one side with the box. Now, the three things that I bought. From Hattons, I bought a locomotive and two Volkswagens. I bought two of the LNER or Northeastern uh, Railroad Range box wagons. They're both exactly the same, but what I'm going to do is weather them up. I've already got two, so I can have a small, a small train there. Okay, sorry for the uh, cut in the film, but um, we had a problem with the camera. But um, during the cut, we also put the lights on and change the camera angle but this is what we're here to see today uh, this is the brand new LNER J94 tank engine from Hornby so let's take a look at it oh, this is the side of the box obviously LNER J94 060 tank engine number 8009 right is the stuff we get. Now I've actually already unboxed this but um, this is operation and maintenance instructions and Hornby have gone to their ICT department who have created a new design on the front. <gasps> That's not going to stop us throwing it out though. Anyway back to the locomotive and Hornby have supplied this plastic to pull the locomotive out how about that we don't have to rely on the hole at the back and there she is look at that she is beautiful she's a um, oh gee, she's in LNER livery but in black um, there's the um, the builder's plate. I can just see. I'll, I'll take it out of shot for a second. Just see. Is that? I would imagine that would be Doncaster. Can't actually see. It's too small. Should get a magnifying glass. But it's great detail. The the bodywork is so crisp and it's shiny almost, which is unusual for black. As we can see, it's an 060. Um, no front bogey, no rear pony truck, and this is the front, obviously lovely um, red buffer beam, the locomotive still looks great at the front, obviously no number up here because that only came around in British Railways, but what's great about this, sprung buffers on both sides, the coupling is still a large one from Hornby but it, it's it's not too large besides it, it doesn't really 
matter. Gosh, she's she's just superb, amazing. This is obviously the rear, and again, yes, sprung buffers. And we've got little lamp irons to hang headboards or lamps on. And the cold de detail isn't that bad either. And I have a fear it's got a loose feeling to it, so I imagine you can take that out and add realistic coal. So, yeah, well, let's take her onto the track along with these two box wagons. Let's see how she goes. Okay, here we are at the layout, and another surprise for you this is my actual home layout. <gasps> Not Holt Whistle. Um, as we can see in the camera shot, we've got the J94 and the two box wagons I built. If I cut to the wide shot, I've got my other two box wagons. They're exactly the same as the ones I've just bought and the brake van. So, we'll get to the same view. Alright, let's see how she runs. Now, I've already seen her run. She's a little noisy, but I reckon she runs well. She's a smooth runner. Wow. She is just gorgeous. She's very basic, but she's got a character, a character of her own. Overall, it's got to be 10 out of 10 for me. I think she's great. Okay, guys, thank you for watching Holt Whistle OO. See you next time.